section 163 kunti said grieve not at all o brahmana on account of this danger i see a way by which to rescue thee from that rakshasa thou hast only one son who besides is of very tender years also only one daughter young and helpless so i do not like any that any of these or thy wife or even thyself should go on to the rakshasa i have five sons o brahmana let one of them go carrying in thy behalf the tribute of that rakshasa hearing this the brahmana replied to save my own life i shall never suffer this to be done i shall never sacrifice to save myself the life of a brahmana or of a guest indeed even those that are of low origin and of sinful practices refuse to do what thou asks me to do it is said that one should sacrifice one's self and one's offspring for the benefit of a brahmana i regard this advice excellent and i like to follow it too when i have to choose between the death of a brahmana and that of my own i would prefer the latter the killing of a brahmana is the highest sin and there is no explanation for it i think a reluctant sacrifice of one's own self is better than the reluctant sacrifice of a brahmana o blessed lady in sacrificing myself i do not become guilty of self destruction no sin can attach to me when another will take my life but if i deliberately consent to the death of a brahmana it would be a cruel and sinful act from the consequence of which there is no escape the learned have said that the abandonment of one who hath come to thy house or sought thy protection as also the killing of one who seek death at thy hands the illustrious among those conversant with practices allowable in seasons in seasons of distress I have before now said that one should never perform an act that is cruel and censurable it is well for me that i should today perish myself with my wife but i would never sanction the death of a brahmana kunti said i too am firmly of opinion o brahmana that brahmana should ever be protected as regards myself No son of mine would be less dear to me even if I had a hundred instead of the five I have. But this Rakshasa will not be able to kill my son, for that son of mine is endued with great prowess and energy, and skilled in mantras. He will faithfully deliver to the Rakshasa his food, but will, I know, to a certainty rescue himself. I have seen before many mighty Rakshasas of huge bodies. engaged in combat with my heroic son and killed too i him but o brahmana do not disclose this fact to anybody for if it known persons desirous of obtaining this power will from curiosity always trouble my sons the wise has said that if my son impart any knowledge without the assent of his preceptor and to any person my son himself will no longer be able to profit by that knowledge thus addressed by prita the brahmana with his wife became exceedingly glad and assented to kunti's speech which was on to them as nectar then kunti accompanied by the brahmana went on to the son of vayu bhima and asked him to accomplish that difficult task Bhima replied on to them saying so be it thus ends the 163rd section in the vakabada parva of the adi parva